have something to talk to you about. The only reason a dead guy shows up at my door. Revenge. Dead. I can get in, I can get in. I know I'll repeat myself. You're ruining my snacks. Relax. I don't want to fight you. And this is gonna end quick. Letty. Letty's in a black site prison off of every map. Then get her out. Nobody can. Nobody would. Dom, I'm so sorry, but what you're asking me to do is impossible. Nothing's impossible. You just have to have faith. Moving to Despicable! <laughs> Suffering. That's what I came here for. To end that suffering. Oh, and I didn't take that money. I burned it. Hold on! I got eyes on Uncle Muscle and the kid. All right, everybody, remember the plan, contain and kidnap. Thank you. No, no guns, alive. At least for a while. You ready? Ready. No, you're good, you're good. Okay, uh, song lyrics, stub toes, and tan and cars. Yes. That bomb's gonna blow. So we've been on a lockdown highway, a big highway, two lanes on each side. Tell me when you're ready. Next position, pop down there. All right, guys, tuck in, please. And these two helicopters come in on either side, and they skewer into the side of Dom's car and try and pick him up. Here we go. And three, two, one. And Dom keeps fighting them like crazy. And as he gets the back end to hit one last time, he hits the NOS. And he jumps from one freeway. Three, two, one, go! over to the other freeway and lands on the other side. Helicopters land in a big burning hole behind it. So that's it. You know, we'd already be there if Roman wasn't driving Ford Knox on wheels. You see me shining, baby? 
We're locked inside. That's a trap. That's a bomb. All right, dorks, what are we blowing up? What? The Vatican? Wow, but you guys are going to hell. Great Dom Tretto. If you never would have gotten behind that wheel, I'd never be the man I am today. And now, I am the man that's going to break your family. Piece by piece. The devil's coming. Boom. Tommy, I knew you would come for me. So how about we all just start shooting each other? Time to end this. Let's dig some graves. You are not to be trusted. Hey, you ain't on my Christmas list either. Calvary's here! Cheers. We need weapons. And cars. Cannon cars. Do you like surprises? I adore them. I'd stay down if I was you. You'll need to hit me harder for that. The game's over, Dom. You lose. This is your last ride. Then you might want to buckle up. was the scene when I read it. I was just like, I can't wait to see Letty fighting. I was like, oh, that's me. She's kicking my ass. This is amazing. Good morning, sunshine. You gotta be kidding me. We have a nice one-on-one -on -one battle. She's a tough cookie, so we'll see what happens. You're welcome. We had to take this fight and make it the best fight that ever was in the Fast and Furious franchise. It was like uh, two lions uh, fighting each other. This fight tell a story. You have Charlize, who doesn't want to fight, and Michelle really want to kill Charlize. Letty's pretty angry in this scene. Sometimes I was like, they're really going to fight. <laughs> when you see Michelle strike the first time, it's an explosion. Now, was that so hard? <laughs> the way Michelle Rodriguez sells action with her body, with her eyes, you just believe it. She's so badass. Even when we train her, she surprises us. She's like a crazy cat. You know, she go in all the directions. I'd stay down if I was you. When you see Charlize Theron walk towards you and look you straight into your eyes, it makes you feel very small. She has so much soul. She's a monster to battle with, I gotta say. Obviously, Cypher is very technical. She's very well-trained. Letty's more of a street fighter. Her power comes from the heart. So it's interesting to see the two fighting styles go at it together. <laughs> there were moments where she'd come at me and I got scared. I was like... They both scare each other, but they scare me even more. I mean, the two of them together, when they do this, and I'm like, cut, and then they turn to me. I'm like, okay, <laughs> ladies, <laughs> easy. <laughs> Can you take one note? Yes. <laughs> this is a fight that the audience has been waiting for since 2017. And wow, does it deliver. I've never seen a movie like this. We're revving to give you everything we got. We got something special, so let's celebrate that. It's the end of the road, so we're going back to the roots of Fast and Furious. Let's dig some graves. Then I go, what kind of trouble can we get into this time? Everything is bigger, better, and hits you like a right hand to the jaw. It is true entertainment on a massive canvas. You're about to learn all about fear. With a new villain, with new stakes, real stakes. Boom. 
I hadn't played a villain in probably 10 years. All right, dorks, what are we blowing up? I wanted to bring something to the lineage that hadn't been done yet. He just comes in, guns blazing. You guys are going to hell. Dante is really one angry guy, but really well-dressed. To face off against Dom and his family, you had to be a certain psychotic. He's coming for you with everything. There's something coming, and Dom knows it. I can't think of a better time for him to be at a crossroads. Never accept death. Yeah! Sure, at the moment, even down. This is set up. We haven't been as successful as we're used to seeing this team be, and that's kind of scary. This sets the stage for something larger, so it's unfamiliar territory. That's the problem with having such a big family. How do you choose the ones you save? I really am looking forward to the Toretto's being back together again. We're firing on all cylinders. Cannon cars. Is it exciting? Yes. He's trying to tear us apart. Is it nerve-wracking? Hell yeah. This is the magic of fast. Let's race! It's showtime. Here we go! It's the beginning of the end. Awesome. It's the sum of everything we've loved in the Fast and Furious universe. Here they come. It's exciting to be a piece in the puzzle of something that's so very important to pop culture. Yeah. I do suggest for the audience out there to prep. It's a big one. For a saga to be complete, it must have an ending. It's bittersweet, but dare I say more meaningful.